Okay, so we can be creative with these audio regions as well. Um, there's the last region on the track relating to that original file. Let's get rid of it. Backspace, keep the file on the disk. So there's the test, 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 one hash o one file. There's the regions that are created from it, renamed and organized. Let's close that. Okay, let's make a new track in the drummer category, R&B drummer. There we go. Let's get this bit of drumming shortened down to four bars in length, like that. Let's make the pattern a bit busier and a bit louder. Put a cycle range around it like that. Okay, so there we've got four bars of R&B style drumming. And my, my computer will bum out trying to play it. This Mac has to go back to the shop. It's running really slow. I don't know why. All right, there's some funky drumming. Now, on the audio track here, I'm going to load a channel strip preset a bass amp channel strip preset, uh, electric guitar and bass, clean bass, I'm going to go with the big stack preset, okay, which includes this bass amp plugin based on an old Ampeg, so let's get a scooped out bass sound for that, reduce the mids, more treble and have it all the way across to amp sound like that, okay. Let's get a bass feeding into here. Okay, so I've got a bass here. I don't know if it's in tune, but... Um, let's have a little practice playing that. One, two, three, four. So I'm just going to make a little bass line. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's it. Just one little bass lick like that. So they've got a little bass, li uh, little bass lick that I recorded. Um, I put a channel strip preset on this track called Big Stack, so it titles the, the track Big Stack. If you've put a channel strip preset on an audio track and re you record audio on that track, then the resulting audio file and region is given the same title as the track, not the same title as the project. So this resulting recording is called Big Stack Hash 01. It's the first recording I made on this track after I loaded up the Big Stack channel strip preset. Right. Okay, there's the region that was automatically created from that recording. You can see there's the bit of grey not being used, which is the counting, right? And there's a little bit of extra grey at the end. So we can bring the end out. That's the overspill when I finished recording. Right, let's just move this back so it begins at bar two. Now you want to snap the end exactly to the end of the bar to make this just an exact one bar length region. Now sometimes when you go to drag the end and snap it to the end of a bar, it looks like it's on the end of the bar. But if you zoom in, let's just zoom in on that. Sometimes, not always, you find it isn't snapped exactly to the end of the bar. Sometimes it might be slightly over or slightly under like that, right? So the guaranteed way to get your regions to snap exactly to bar, beat or division lines when you extend the front or back in or out, right, is you set your snap here to absolute value and then set it to division. Right Now, division is the default grid of logic, which if you zoom in enough, you can see the division lines. The default grid or division for logic is sixteenths. So we're going to snap it to the absolute value of division, sixteenths, which means that now, if I drag the front or back of a region in or out, it snaps exactly to division lines, which includes bar lines, beat lines, and any sixteenth division lines in between. So we know the end of this region is snapped exactly to the end of that bar, and the front is snapped exactly to the beginning of the bar. Okay. So there it is. Beginning at bar one. A short, uh, lower that in volume. Okay, there is my region. Okay, let's retitle it in the project media. Let's call it baseline. Okay. And it retitles the region on the track, of course, right? Okay, so there's my baseline. Now we can be creative with this, right? I could, if I wanted to, yeah, I could just uh, copy this over to every bar so that my baseline just cycles around every bar playing the same baseline. 
Notice every time I copy this one bar region over on the track, it creates a new copy of the region here in the project media. Right? I could do that, but we let's get rid of these copies out of the project media here. So we're just left with the original region representing that one bar of baseline. Um, yeah, I, I can just use it use that region as is but part of the beauty of not this non-destructive editing is that we can chop bass lines guitar patterns um drum beats we can chop them up into chunks and rearrange the order of those chunks to get completely new patterns so here's my bass line the beginning bit here is the boom boom opening two notes boom boom then from here onwards is the badap bat bat -ba right so i'm going to chop that bass line with the scissors exactly on that 16th line there boom and now it's cut in half right this first half here it is in the project media represents the beginning part of the bass line the boom boom so i'm going to retitle this boom boom <laughs> and then this second region here represents the last half of that one bar bass line the black 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 so i'm going to rename this black black okay so we've got boom boom and black black and now what i'm going to do is take the black black let's shorten this to one bar in length oh, sorry two bars in length two bars right i'm going to take the black black and drag it right to the end then the boom boom bit i'm going to copy it so it plays every uh half a bar copy copy so boom 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 Boom, boom, black, black, black. We've got a completely different bass line now. Yeah, we're being creative, chopping up the bass line and rearranging the order of the bits. Or in this case, we've copied the opening three times and tacked the ending on the end. Okay. I copied this region over to here and here. There's the original ending half. So in my project media, I've got the original boom boom beginning, the black black ending bit, and the two copies of the boom boom there and there. Okay, and I've got a completely new bass line. And you know you can just copy this over as many times as you want, like that. And each time I copy, it's copying those regions in in my project media. Right, let's undo and undo that. But it's a bit you know. But these four chunks, these four regions now make up my new two bar bass line. Okay. Copying these around all the time is a bit of a pain. So let's bounce these new, these chopped up and organized regions. We bounce them down to a completely new file. So all of our regions that we've chopped up and reordered to make the new baseline, we select them as a group and then we bring up the shortcut menu for this group of regions, which you do by right clicking on any region in the group. But if, like me, right-click is assigned to your toolbox, then you Control-Left-Click on any region in the group to bring up the shortcut menu. Control-Left-Click. Bounce in place. We're going to bounce these chopped up and reorganized regions into a completely new file. Bounce in place. We're going to call it Boom Boom New. Put it on a new track. Mute the original track. And we will not bypass effect plugins, which means that the sound of the bass amp sim, the EQ and the compression and everything else on the channel will be bounced down and included in the audio file. And we'll include also volume and pan information and normalize it. Here we go. Bounce down. And Logic bounces a new file, two bars long, from these chunks that were chopped up and reordered, these regions. Now I've got a completely new file Boom boom new three and the region represents the entire file on the disk. There's the region. So now and it's put it on a new audio track. So now we've got a completely new two bar stereo file created from these chunks made out of the original recording. This is our new baseline as a new file. <coughs> so look, I don't need this track anymore. All the regions are on it. Backspace and delete the whole thing. Regions first, but keep the file on the disk, the original baseline file, one bar long, and then delete the track. Okay, so there's my original baseline. There's the region representing the whole one bar of the baseline. There's the boom boom first half. There's the black black second half. We don't need these boom boom extras. 
the copies. We don't need the Black Black anymore. We don't need the Bum Bum first half anymore. So I've got rid of all those. In my project media, there's the original one bar baseline. There's the region representing that one bar. That's all that's left. That can be reused if I need to. And now there's the new recording, the bounce down version made up of the region chunks as a new file, bum bum new 3 AIF, and that's the region representing the entire file on the disk. Hey presto, we knew, we've made a new baseline from uh, an old baseline. You can chop up and reorder, copy and change the order and copy bits over regions that a region that makes up an old entire baseline or an entire drum pattern across one or two or four bars or whatever or a baseline across one or two or four bars or a guitar riff over one or two or four bars or a hand percussion riff over how many bars they can be chopped up and reordered to make completely new patterns once you've done the chopping just bounce it down to a new file hey presto new baseline right okay that's one way you can be creative let me show you another one with some drums <laughs> 